Hello, my name's Debbie and today I'm going to show you how to have the most fun with your pet rabbits and guinea pigs safely and that's with the help of Summer. Hello Summer, are you ready to go? Yes. Okay. Rabbits and guinea pigs make lovely fun pets but you need to be able to handle them safely and perform basic health checks to be able to spot any problems early on. The best way to ensure your pet enjoys interacting with you is to spend time building trust. This can be done by moving down to their level and allowing them to come to you, using tasty treats to encourage them. It's best not to leave young children unsupervised with their small pets. It's important to remember that rabbits are a prey species now what this means is that when it comes to handling them, they're really going to get very stressed if you start grabbing them or holding them tightly or even chasing them around the place. So when you're handling your rabbits, it's important to remain calm and quiet around them and approach them slowly. Now when picking up a rabbit, ideally you should put one hand under the chest and use the other hand to support the back legs and then lift them up so that the back legs remain supported. Now rabbits have a very delicate spine so it is important to not let them kick out too much with their back legs as they can damage it by doing this. Now of course we mustn't forget guinea pigs guinea pigs are also a prey species so exactly the same principles apply. Now guinea pigs generally tend to be a little bit more nervous than rabbits so it's even more important to establish a good bond with them and again picking up rabbits is exactly the same as picking up guinea pigs. Make sure you have one hand under the chest and one hand under the back end to support them. Once your bunny or guinea pig is happy being handled it's still wise to always hold them close to the ground to reduce the risk of injury from a fall. Now when transporting a rabbit, the best thing to use is a cat carrier like the one Summer has here. Thank you, Summer. If it's a shorter distance for a shorter time, you can just try covering the rabbit's eyes because that should make it a bit less stressful for them. Now even large hutches are really only designed to be a bedroom for rabbits. They really do need to spend the majority of their time in a run, which will allow them to exercise and help keep them healthy. Rabbits and guinea pigs' environment should be enriched by providing them with different toys and simple equipment that allows them to express normal behaviours and essentially to have fun. A tray full of compost makes a great digging patch. A hay rack not only keeps hay cleaner off the floor, but also provides some entertainment as the rabbits pull bits of food out of it. Rabbits and guinea pigs also need to have places they can hide in and feel safe. And rabbits in particular like to have raised platforms to be able to look out from and survey their surroundings. It's not that well known, but rabbits can be trained to do certain things. For example, they are naturally very clean animals and are quite easily trained to use a litter tray. You can move on to more advanced things such as teaching them to come to you when you call their name, using treats. Some people have even managed to train their bouncing bunnies to jump competitively, making the most of their natural talents. Being able to perform a basic health check on your pet will enable you to spot any problems early on. Simple checks include gently looking in the ears to make sure they are clean or to see if there's any crusting or sore areas. Dental problems are very common in rabbits, so carefully feel under their chins for signs of drooling or swelling. One of the most serious conditions a rabbit can get is fly strike, where flies lay eggs on dirty skin around the rabbit's bottom. The emerging maggots can very quickly cause a lot of damage and can actually be fatal. 
The best way to prevent problems such as dental disease and fly strike is to feed a high fibre, low sugar diet. In summer particularly, check your rabbit's back end daily and do keep them clean. Do this by gently putting your index finger between the front legs and thumb and forefinger behind the front legs to cradle the chest. Use your other hand to support their back end and then lean forward to support their spine with your chest as you gently tip the rabbit back and when you straighten up, rest their rump on the table. A non-slip surface will help the rabbit feel secure. And remember, whenever you have a rabbit on a raised surface, always keep one hand on them to try and avoid any falling injuries. Regular grooming is essential in long-haired breeds, but is also something many pets will enjoy and it helps establish a bond with them. So hopefully we've managed to show you how both you and your pet can have great fun together safely. We hope you found it useful. Hello Summer. Are they being good? For further information on the care and health of rabbits and other small pets, visit the Supreme website at suprempetfoods.com. On the website, you can find a link to the Supreme YouTube channel to see more videos on pet care and other topics. And why not join our Facebook community for access to even more fun facts and pet-friendly information for all the family.